Hey everybody in the plants and aquarium world, this is TX Aquatics coming to you from the Houston area. This is my first DIY LED light fixture. After researching and checking out videos, I went ahead and did one myself. I based mine off of Tony TV Tanks uh, on, on YouTube. He did a nano LED light fixture, pretty cool. So I kind of just designed mine off of that and I, I, my needs and the way my tank is. So, so I'll start out with my lights first. So I've got two rows. My back row is kind of like the base light to, to illuminate the back of the tank and to come forward. So it has, um, I have 65K 5 watt LED lights. Um, they're actually pretty bright once I light up that, that back bar and I tested it. The front row is kind of like what mixes the light together. So I mimicked it off of the Phoenix Future Planet Plus. I've got a mixture of 65K watt lights, 35K watt lights, for the warm light mixture and I've got two royal blue lights uh, and the one red nanometer light I think it's about 630 or 640 so once again all that was on eBay it's pretty cool um, I used Arctic Illumina to, to uh, mount them and as the heat transfer uh, that's actually pretty easy to, to use you just um, mix your, mix your um, epoxy and then go ahead and dab it on there you're supposed to use just a small amount and so that's what I use for soldering, I was new at soldering, so I watched a couple of videos. <clears throat> In the end, I ended up using 22 gauge solid core wire. I got it at Home Depot for about 90 cents. Um, you're supposed to use stranded wire, but I just went with what I could find. It was kind of hard to get 22 gauge stranded wire. Uh, as long as you don't bend it so much and kink it, it actually worked out pretty good for me. For the heat sink, I've got a one, a one inch aluminum angle. I got it at a hardware store. Just hack soldered down the middle and then slit, slit it through slits that I made on the side of the, the uh, fixture. For uh, driver, both of them I got on eBay too. The back driver powers the backlight, um, 700 milliamps. And you don't want to go over the voltage or get close to it. You want to leave some voltage space. So all the drivers have a minimum and a maximum voltage. So you just want to stay, you know, maybe 5 or 10 under. What's the max of the voltage because it's going to constantly run. The front row is 350 milliamps, so that's powered by another driver. So total, I've got uh, I've got 25 and 10. I got 35 watts lights. I think the uh, lumen output is maybe close to 35 or 4,000, 3,500 or 4,000. Um, <clears> for uh, cables, I use a household cable from an old computer. Spliced it for this driver. I used a lamp, a lamp light for the other driver. I did solder those two together and use uh, the. Uh, the uh, shrink tubing and then for the driver to the lights I actually use wire nuts just in case I want to move them off or for anything like that so the back of the filter excuse me the back of the fixture I uh, bolted down the drivers they need they need a free air to cool for convection they get it slightly warm not that hot and then for cooling I've got I was going to try to use just regular air cool air convection but I went ahead and I installed let's see if I can get a shot of them I installed two 40 millimeter um, fans, computer fans, that I also got on eBay for a couple of dollars. It wasn't that bad. I mounted one to the complete end so it blows the air out to the other end. It comes out to, through this end over here where there's holes. And I went ahead and I put one on the corner so it'll keep circulating air through there. And actually, it does get kind of warm. I, I've run it for about an hour and a half at the most. I'm starting to run it for two hours now. The back row gets hot uh, where I can touch it for a few seconds and let go of it and touch it again. It's not that bad. The front row doesn't get that hot at all. It's just slightly warm. So my next video will be the light on the tank. You can go ahead and leave your comments. I'll take any comments, negative or positive. I know this is everybody has something to say about it. I've seen several comments on other videos, so it's whatever. I'll, I'll respond to mostly anything. It is kind of bulky with all the lights. I don't. I didn't put an on and off switch, which is something you should think about. I don't have dimmers on it. Um, that that is something that you can look into if you like. To. I just made mine. This is my first one, just basic. So on the next slide, excuse me. The next video number two will be the actual light on.